Thank you so much, Lexi. Thank you so much. All right, we're here at Ursuline College. They have a great exhibit uh, celebrating Juneteenth. Goes through August. Uh, the curator, the young curator here, uh, Yvonne Brantley, <laughs> joins us. And uh, you were asked to find artists under 30 yep. and get their interpretations of what Juneteenth means to them in this day and age. And of course, you curated it, but this is your piece. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your interpretation. Nice. So it looks like some either has a very upset stomach about something. <laughs> That's what I see. <laughs> okay, what are we yeah, have here? So this was uh, my interpretation of gluttony. Um, so with my main body of work, I tackle mental identities in the mental landscape. Um, and this is one that exists within me. Um, and so thinking about a different um, embodiment of gluttony and what it means, not just an overindulgence of like food, mm -hmm. but for me, I overindulge myself in art. Gotcha. and finding opportunities to make my artistic world a little bit better. Um, and what that looks like is kind of like the colloquial term of being hungry for opportunities and making sure I have to eat um, and sustain myself. So I have a stump or in the stomach, there's a mouth, um, which is another source of like inhaling things. Gotcha. Um, the hands and the feet and also the face are like a very sick red. Okay. Um, and so, you get that um, illusion of like, this person is always utilizing their hands, their feet, in order to gain some type of sustenance in their life. All right, I love it. Krista Freehands is over here, all right. Uh, we also asked you guys to uh, create an interpretation of what Juneteenth means to you. Tell us about your piece you've been working on all morning. So my piece is pretty much just, um, I just really wanted to highlight the fact that, you know, it's we're you know we're American, but at, at the same time not really. So that's why I have like the American flag in the background with the X's through it, because mm -hmm. it's like almost like not really belonging anywhere. Sometimes you make you feel that way. Yeah. Okay. So gotcha. it's it's just um, and then I have a. Uh, uh, image of somebody early on uh, when uh, we first were freed uh, around Juneteenth, well, when it was found out gotcha. down okay. south. Yeah. So, um, Two years later. You're right. So, All right. I got image you. of, of I'm somebody come finding over out. I'm going to hate to cut you off, okay, Myra, your piece you've been working on. It's funny yeah. because you haven't drawn in about three years. Yeah. And you just whipped this up this morning. It's amazing. Yeah. Tell us about your piece. Yeah, this work is inspired by Juneteenth, um, not specifically about the migration of black people from the South yeah. um, after, you know, they found out that they were free, but more so about uh, the beauty of power. So taking okay. back um, some of our power and it's just right. a woman sort of relaxing. And how She's beautiful comfortable her look. skin. Yep. All right. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Great job, you guys. Mm -hmm. Ohio Arts Council, want to thank and. Yes. So we want to thank the Ohio Arts Council and Cuyahoga arts and culture um, for funding this project Very and good. also though we're closed today uh, <laughs> yeah, the are, hours are 12 to 4 30 tuesday through thursday all right thank you Devon. awesome awesome show awesome show i uh, thank my artists for coming out very early and working so definitely worth your while to come visit it's very very cool 10 artists under the age of 30 i can't even remember what that looked like and felt like all right back to you guys in the studio